Welcome back everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got another vlog for you here, another agency shift, okay, class two multi-drop this time, and at a rate of 17 pound an hour, which I think is pretty good for a multi-drop. Let me know in the comments um, what, what you expect from a class two multi-drop uh, wage to be per hour. That's pay AYE by the way, not umbrella. And if you don't know the difference, then get to know why, why, that's, uh, why, why there is a difference, shall I say. Um, but anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in. Just got in at seven in the morning, just finished doing my walk around checks. We have an absolute ton of deliveries to do today. In total, we have... Oh my God, that can't be right. 12, 12 different stops. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I need to stop doing this to myself. Right, and the reason it's, uh, multi-drop is, a, it is what it is, do you know what I mean? It's, it's long, it's a lot of manual labor, getting the tail lift up, putting pallets on there, getting the tail lifts back down, delivering to different locations. That's 12 different locations. I've got to go open up the bag and offload. But, um, hey, it's a, probably one of the best ways to get experience, okay? With, with your vehicle, with your load, um, you know, constantly getting in and out, constantly uh, reversing back into uh, bays and stuff. One of these shifts right here with 12 stops can probably give you, you know, five or six shifts worth of experience if you were just doing, you know, driving from point A to B and back. So it's got its perks and it's got its downsides, shall we say as well, because it is long. But it's a beautiful day, it's shining, so we are gonna crack on. I also want to say a big shout out to everyone that's kind of liked and subscribed over the last two videos. Honestly, overwhelmed with the support. I went from like 20 subscribers to well over like 500. So <laughs> I must be doing something right. Um, but thank you for everyone that's commented, liked and, and given some support. I try and get back to everyone on the comment section. Um, and those of you that emailed asking for um, advice on certain different things, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to hear that that's kind of helped you guys and get to where you want to be. Like I said, if you've got if you've got the opportunity to ask someone that's been in the industry for a while um, some questions, then why not? Because it saves you the trouble of having to go through a couple of years worth of experience to find out the things that I already know. So use those resources. I'm happy for anyone to email me or go on Instagram and, and look up Izzy Reviews um, and just drop us a, a question on there, really. Um, so yeah, just thanks really for the support. Now, our first drive is about an hour away. So we're gonna crack on, go there. It's four pallets, so straight away, reverse in, okay. Um, like I said, use some of the tips that I've, I've put in the other video before even getting in there. I'll, I'll park up on the side, stick my hazards on, go have a look, make sure I fit, I, I know exactly where it is that I'm delivering to, um, and then take it from there. But yeah, pretty good to get rid of four pallets straight away. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. All right, cool. So we spoke to the spoke to the lady, found out where she wants the pallets. Now it's time to reverse into that bit, bit there, and just put four pallets along there. Um, should be nice and simple. Put it on neutral. Start the vehicle. Drive. Automatic and let's attempt to reverse this bad boy in there.
was nice and easy happy days four pallets gone let's get ready for our next drop which is around two miles away funnily enough so we're not in a bad spot okay manual automatic brilliant I don't know why it selects manual straight away. Like, surely it would go automatic and then manual. Right, reverse. All right, I think we're good. Ah, no! I don't know, are we? Nah, that's too close for comfort. Don't get cocky, Kev. Just, just do one more shunt. All right. Hey, if you've got the space, do, do a shunt. Or, like my instructor told me, don't be a cunt and take a shunt. I always thought that was fucking hilarious, but not so much now. Three quarters of a mile to go. Nice and easy, let's get it done. Brilliant, so that delivery was literally like a mile and a half from the other one. So that's five pallets down, a few more deliveries to go. And it's not actually 12 stops. I misread that. Sometimes on the paperwork, they put the same one at the bottom. So it's the same place, one stop, but the pallets are different. So they just put, put it just on, they add an extra column for it on the itinerary. So, it's actually not that many. I think overall, I think it might be six. Yeah, we'll have a look at some point. But anyway, this next one, 20 minutes away. Nice and easy. And another four pallets. Which is great. Because I don't mind driving this up and down everywhere like when, once it's empty and like the, the vehicle's very responsive and light, that's not an issue at all. And the more pallets you get rid of, the better you feel. I don't know what it is, it's just, it's almost like, you know, you're completing things. It's like a little game. And you're, uh, you know, you're completing these levels by delivering these pallets. In my head anyway, it helps the time go by. I do, I do want to say that I'm not a big fan of going to those big industrial estates because no one seems to have a clue, like, like especially one that's got like four or five different buildings but the same company. And you go into their reception, they're like, and you're like, oh, I've got delivery from company X, Y, and Z. And the reception is like, oh, we, we weren't expecting a delivery. Like, how many have you got? And it's just like, well, do you know what I mean? so many different part, moving parts of that company that no one knows who ordered what. So you tip up and everyone's like, what are you doing here? Like, and then by the time they get the right person and go, oh yeah, I ordered that, yeah, just offload it there, mate, and all of that. It's like, fucking hell, half hour's gone by, just me dossing about trying to find this guy. But, you know, that's like seven odd quid you made there, just doing absolutely nothing but trying to find the guy that, that's responsible for the delivery. So on the plus side. Anyway, let's get to this next one. Let's get it delivered and let's move on. Been a long day so far. 
Anyway, we're back. Only got, what, three more stops? And then we are finished. Looking like it's about to come down to a 10 hour shift at 17 pound an hour. 170 quid, not bad. And it just goes down reference to what I said to uh, in my previous videos. Like sometimes, especially within the agency, like a shift comes up and you don't want to do it and whatnot, but hey, once you start, you got to finish. Right, apparently the next one's in there. All right, that's that one done. I've never gone and uh, collected one before as opposed to dropping equipment off. So yeah, no, I've, I've never actually turned up and gone and collected something as opposed to dropping stuff off. So the paperwork is a bit different. I had to sign for everything. Put the load in, strap it, all of that good stuff. And the annoying thing about that, because it's not the last stop and you're picking stuff up before you've emptied, you've got stuff now that you have to work around and obviously move around whilst you're offloading. It's just gonna make it a bit of a pain in the ass, but nonetheless, we continue. And the next one is just one pallet, one lonely pallet, which is annoying. Uh, which is only five miles away. So nice and close to each other. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, and then I think we will have a break, actually. In fact, we'll probably have a break as soon as we get there. I'll just pull over, have a brew, have a cup of coffee or something. Um, maybe get my head down for 45 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Right, let's get going. It would help if I was an on uh, drive. <laughs> Bang it in neutral, Kev, come on. Another good tip is just every time you get in here all right, and get back out, make sure you're aware of what pallets you're delivering next and which side they're on and stuff. Because you don't want to be doing all those curtains out and unstrapping everything and then you find out actually they need access to this side. So just have a look now. So where am I going next? I'm going to Waitrose. So I know that this pallet, these four pallets at the back of Waitrose, these two are going back to, to the depot. So yeah. Instead of rearranging or anything, nothing like that. Just means next time I know what pallets are where and, and that's just something that you really want to do. You don't want to constantly have to open and close stuff and then forget where everything is. Okay, make sure you keep it on one of these things so it doesn't move about. Oh, I'm just trying and get it everything like pushed together on that helps with these access ones what I like to do is get them down to the end and attach them here okay like so boom okay uh, I'm gonna do the same to that one and then we'll put the tail lift back down and get going on to the uh, next delivery 13 miles to go one three so not too far away but i'm in the middle of fucking somerset and there is tractors everywhere like everywhere you look there's a tractor holding up like 30 cars worth of traffic and like two lorries um so it's always fun driving around here what else 
That's it really. That's that's the only real drama we've had today. Further into the uh, pros and cons, okay, of class one and two. With class two obviously comes the multi-drop and a lot of the places you're delivering to won't have toilets for you, won't have a brake facility for you. Absolutely, you, you don't really get looked after as much as the ones that you do with the class ones. With the class ones, when you go and load up and you reverse into the bay, and they start taking and offloading you and, and you hand the keys in. There's restrooms for you, there's place where you can get like drinks and all sorts of stuff like, there's uh, machines that do soup and all sorts. Uh, toilets, everything. So the facilities are far greater for, uh, oh crap, there's a.